Boom! Just kidding. Welcome to another entry into Dan's Beard's Diaries. Sorry for that abrupt flex, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of go with the theme of today's vlog, which is testosterone. Now, I'm touching on this because I got a lot of requests from the last video in regard to talking about testosterone. However, I compete in a natural organization and I myself am a lifetime natural, meaning that I've never taken testosterone, HGH, whatever else is out there. I am a big proponent on trying to achieve what we can naturally. So going further in today's vlog, I want to talk about boosting testosterone naturally. If you have any suggestions, tips, or pointers in regards to boosting testosterone levels naturally, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below for all of us to see. Now, before we talk about boosting testosterone, I'd like to talk about the symptoms that may indicate that your testosterone is low. One, low sex drive. Two, difficulty with erection. Three, low semen volume. Four, hair loss. Five, fatigue. Six, loss of muscle mass. Seven, increased body fat. Eight, decreased bone mass. Nine, mood changes. Now, mood changes are in regards to depression, irritability, um, lack of focus. However, before we jump to conclusions, it's always best to go get tested from a doctor. And what the test is, or what it's called, is gonna be the serum testosterone test. And what they're gonna be doing is testing the circulating testosterone in the blood. This is tested in nanograms per deciliter. Now, the male on average is somewhere between 300 and 1,000. So if you're below that 300 mark, that's a good indication that you are relatively low on your testosterone levels. Now, how do we boost our testosterone naturally? Number one, this is in no uh, order of priority, but number one, weightlifting and exercise. Exercises that involve a large amount of mass. Squats, deadlifts, bench press, pull-ups, those are all key. Number two, Keep your stress levels down. Now I know this is a lot easier said than done, but most of us, if not all of us, can take some time, 15 to 30 minutes a day, and just disconnect from everything. Or you can grab your beard struggle brush and stroke your beard. That brings us to number three. Maintain a well-balanced diet specifically carbs, protein, and fat. Taking the total of your calories, 50% should be carbohydrates, 30% should be protein, and 20% should be fat. That's a good starting point, and then you can hone it into what suits best for you. Number four, get enough sunlight or take a vitamin D supplement. It's recommended that you get around 15 minutes of sunlight per day. If you can't make that happen, it's recommended that you take a vitamin D supplement. Number five should come at no surprise, sleep. It's recommended that we get somewhere between seven to eight hours of restful, high quality sleep. Now this is very specific to the individual. Some of us don't need that seven to eight hours. Other of us do, if not more. So whatever you feel suits you best, get that adequate sleep, restful sleep. Now, number six, this goes back to vitamins and minerals, magnesium and zinc. Magnesium and zinc have been known to contribute to insufficient amount of testosterone when you are lacking them in your general nutrition. Supplementation will help with the situation or a whole food source would be even better than the supplementation and foods that are high sources in magnesium and zinc are leafy greens and whole grains. Number seven, take natural testosterone boosters, such as ashwagandha, I hope I'm saying that right, 
and garlic. Now, here's a list of all the benefits of ashwagandha. Reduced blood sugars, has anti-cancer properties, reduces cortisol levels, helps reduce stress and anxiety, and boosts testosterone, and increases fertility. All right, last but certainly not least, and this may be one of the most important factors in regard to testosterone and estrogen. What is it? Aromatase. Aromatase is an enzyme that's found in your adipose tissue. What's adipose tissue? Adipose tissue, it's fat. And what this enzyme does is essentially it converts testosterone to estrogen. So this, this enzyme essentially is reducing your testosterone levels. The more that you, the more of it that you have in your body, the less free circulating testosterone you'll have in your blood. The less body fat in your body, the less aromatase that's present in your body. I hope that makes sense. So the less body fat that you have, the less aromatase enzyme you have circulating in your body, which is converting testosterone to estrogen and decreasing your testosterone levels and increasing your estrogen levels. I hope that makes sense. Maybe I'll put a little diagram right here or something. We'll see if I, we'll see if I can put a little diagram right here in post. Okay, before I close this thing out, if you have any suggestions, tips, or pointers in regards to boosting testosterone levels naturally, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below for all of us to see. Um, as always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. Until next time, Peace.